the spirits that are in this place, please come towards us now. Please talk to us. Please tell us your name. Please tell us your name. Can you please tell us your name? Can you come back into the billiard room just in... I heard that. I was... What was that? What was that? Can you hear that? There's a rumble from out of the corridor. There's a big... Danny, can you just check and see if there's anybody outside? Or Nick, sorry, Danny. Sorry, sorry. Nick. I can't... It's so dark, I can't see. I just heard three big bangs above me. You just heard one massive one. couple of knocks. Okay, we're monitoring you. She should be asking for Thomas, really. Yeah, she Thomas. Thomas, can you say your name, please? Thomas, say your name. Did you see that? Sorry. Yeah, I saw a yeah, flash. Yeah, the flash on, on Raymond's webcam, it went really bright and then it went really dark. Thomas, can you give us a message, please? Do you know what? I swear I got it. I just thought I heard. <laughs> this is this thing with this, isn't it? You're vile. Yeah. Ask, you're vile. You're vile. Throughout the process, I thought I'd heard hear me and hello. Hear me and hello. Thomas, can you say your name? Say your name, please, Thomas. You've got a head now. <gasps> I like Thomas! That sounded just like Thomas. You did. Say it again, Thomas. Say your name again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is just a bit... Don't you think, Hiro? Yeah. Twice. Say it again, please. Say your name, Thomas. Say it again. But my corridor. There's no one else up here, is there? There's no one near you, love. There's no one near you at all. Are you OK? There's a huge black shape down the bottom. Thomas, say your name. Yes, Chris. I think I've got part of the second name. I asked him to come and communicate with me and try and tell me some more information. I've not got the full, the, the full name, but it's, it's like Cuff, 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 it's like that sort of name. Okay, you are correct. Yes, you are. You're on the right track. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Should I tell him what it is? Yes. Yeah, it's Covel. Covel. Raymond, are you all right? You don't look very happy. Where's Carl? Okay. Carl, where are you? Carl, where are you? Yeah. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Where is he? Where's Carl? I've got down the Oh, 
that's it for cable. Is it for cable? Yeah, where did you? Around there. What did you see? I looked there, I, I was talking to you and I walked around here and there was somebody Sorry. standing there. That's why I went back into that room. Yeah, it was down here. I'm not getting in. It was like this. Were you there? It's that. Can you see Carl there? I can see Carl, yeah. So you saw about. someone standing there like standing that? Standing a bit of prop, it was a full figure. You see where you see my legs, my arms? It was standing out there. And that's where I went, whoa, and then it went back in there. Do you know when that happened? You okay? You don't realise the time of when that happened. What? But, oh, I don't know. Did you hear? Yes, you would have done, wouldn't you? Chris saying, me giving Chris what the... The surname, surname was. Well, Chris told me what the surname I was. I heard Chris give me the surname, yeah. but I was kind of, I wasn't really listening, I was walking down there that time. Yeah, yeah, it all happened yeah. when we confirmed that the name was Thomas Covell. Not only that, but it was here at the oh. time when you heard Thomas, or we heard Thomas yes. twice. Yeah, we were, doing, we were doing our experiment and through the little box we heard the, the name, oh, we heard the name Thomas come out three times. You heard the name Thomas yeah. come out three times? Yeah. Good. That was extraordinary. Oh, yeah. Clear, but really dark black. I mean, I see light on you. You know, this is yeah. light. I've seen a lot of fat slaps you see. Yeah, so you all were, weren't we? Oh, yeah. Guy. yeah I mean, Guys, it, that. can I just make a, a suggestion? I think we should go back. I think, uh, I think uh, me, Carl and Chris stay up here with the main camera. You guys go back, continue what you were doing. And everybody okay. else go back into the rooms. You know, maybe Simon can take over from Chris in the wine cellar. Yeah? Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. You take my water to Simon. Okay. Yeah? yeah? When you're okay. down there, call out the name James. James. He's, he's a servant. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody go back. We'll see you later. We'll stay here. Okay, everybody okay. with me. He's not staying here. Okay. All right, Carl, what's the matter? Okay. Follow me again. Yeah. Okay. And everybody, once Fine. you're in your room, don't walk around, obviously. Carl's getting dizzy. Okay. Are you all right, Carl? I've, I've got a hold of him. Do you need to go out? Do you need to go out? Okay. Get some oh, fresh air. I think we should get some fresh, fresh air. air. What, we'll stay here yeah, and then go to, come room straight room back once you've had some fresh air if you feel like yes. it, yeah? Okay. I think I'm going to because I think I'm going to go. Yeah. I don't want to go. Okay. Somebody help, Carl? I'll be all right. We'll stay here. Again. Apologies for any bad language you may have heard during that last visit to the vigil. This is the penultimate part of Most Haunted Live. We had the name Colville emerging there on the vigil, a lot of activity. Brian Shepherd got that name a while ago, did you not? It's already, I'm getting the thumbs up from Fred Bat on it. What kind of person are we talking about here? You're talking about a very, very nasty entity indeed, a very nasty spirit, a spirit that pursues the, uh, the team throughout this house would like nothing better than to see them cast in chains, incarcerated, and eventually, of course, hanged. Um, is, that, is, tonight, is that tonight's face of evil? And do you think maybe we've had possibly a diversion from it because of the technological experiments well, tonight? <laughs> to a degree, yes. I mean, I'm not a very technical person. And, and, and fascinating though the uh, a phone experiment is, of course, um, I don't totally understand it. No one's explained it to me. I work on intuition. Um, but what I do know is, yes, you're dealing with um, a, a very, very nasty face of evil here. A witch finder general in every word. Somebody may have tortured and murdered. Oh, definitely. Definitely that, yeah. I would like nothing better than to do the same to the team that uh, we've watched tonight. On that chilly note, we're taking a break now. Stay with us for the final part of tonight's Most Haunted Live, Eight Faces of Evil, back after this. Hello and welcome back to the final part of tonight's Most Haunted Live, Eight Faces of Evil. This is night five of an unprecedented eight-night paranormal investigation and tonight we are looking for evil in Lancaster, in the judge's lodgings, where people passed through part of the legal system, a system that condemned people they regarded as witches or warlocks to death. And we've had a number of names emerge, including from both Brian Shepherd and also on location from Chris Colville, uh, Covell rather, sorry. John, can you tell us a bit about that name and then Covell? Well, Thomas Covell is a key figure really in the building the team have been in tonight. He lives there for a long time, 1590 till his death in 1638. But really 